Hello and welcome. This is an easy 112th scale do-it-yourself dollhouse miniature project to make a clothing hanger rack using wood, wire, and plastic. Materials are listed below. To assemble the base, begin by using two craft sticks. Cut two 3 and 5 8 inch pieces for top and bottom base. Gently sand. Place a full-size craft stick in the middle of the top and the bottom pieces. Turn sideways, glue in between, press together, clamp, and let dry. For the rack wheels, you could use pre-made sets, pony beads, audio cassette tape guides, or something similar. To make two pony bead wheel sets, select four beads, two flat top straight pins, and four earring backs. Take a straight pin, insert earring back through the hole, slide to the pin end, apply glue, slide the bead over the glue and over the earring. It's an optional step to apply super glue to the inside of the bead. The mixture of glues can aid in the drying process. Add second bead and second earring back, placing it in the opposite direction as the first. Adjust distance so the wheel set is three quarter inch in length. Cut excess pin, glue second bead and earring back. Add glue to the center. Repeat for the second wheel set. To make the audio cassette tape guide wheel sets, cut two five eighth inch pieces from a jumbo paper clip, sand ends, wear glasses and mask. Select four tape guides. Dab a drop of glue to one end of the metal wire. Let dry about 30 seconds. Add first tape guide. Slide to the end. Apply glue to the inside end, super glue, if desired, as in the pony bead steps. Add the second guide. Glue outside and center. Repeat for the second wheel set. For the wheel braces, cut two three-quarter inch pieces from the popsicle stick. Gently sand. Glue the wheel sets to the center of the wheel braces. For the side end post, cut two five by one quarter by one quarter inch pieces. Gently sand. For the hanger rod, select a wood dowel piece. Cut four and one quarter inch length. This one is a one eighth inch diameter. Then drill a one eighth inch hole completely through one end of each side post, a quarter inch from the top. Make sure the rod fits into the side post holes. Adjust by sanding if needed. Now you're ready to assemble. First, apply glue in the holes of the side post. Insert the rod. Second, apply glue to the bottoms of the side post. Press to the top of the base. Third, apply glue under the middle base piece. Center the wheel sets. Press. Let dry. You could paint or stain and decorate the rack and wheels as desired. I added silver paint to the tape guide front centers. Thank you so much for watching.